Hello everyone, welcome back to Pwn TV. So here we are back at uh, Pwn's Lot's Mall Garden. Um, this is the monster rearing system, rank 7, that I've completed. And uh, I usually like making videos showing this beach because it's really pretty. And I like to keep track of, you know, the progress of all my little guys. And I just fed all of them. And if you watched my last video, you might have noticed that some of them were max rank. And I was going to try to find a way to actually uh, evolve one or two of them. So I found an item that I needed to give to my Cerberus, and he's an LS Moth right now, which is almost max rank, but there is another species of uh, uh, Behemoth, I don't know why I said Cerberus, uh, another species, an evolution of King Behemoth, which is beyond LS Moth, and that is Score Moth. And you're required to actually turn in a Gabrith meat, which I did, and he did squirm uncontrollably, which is what he does when he's ready to evolve and you give him the evolution item. So let's actually go see uh, if this if this Elasmoth actually turns into a score moth. So this is the Elasmoth in question, and if I refresh the zone, there's a chance that that squirming uncontrollably actually triggered his evolution. So I'll just reskin him by zoning out and zoning back in. Let's see if Brian upgraded today. I'm kind of excited. Brian, are you gonna upgrade for me? Are you gonna upgrade for YouTube? Brian, it's time to live the dream. All you need to do is live the dream. Alright, so we're back in the zone, it's going to take a minute to load, and then I'll go check on this evolution, and see what's up. The mall garden takes so long to load, you guys. There we go. So I'm going to come over to the uh, monster rearing side. And let's go take a look at our LS Moth and see if he evolved into a Score Moth. It should be shockingly different in color, if that's the case. Alright, let's go look at this guy. Maybe it does have the same skin, or maybe he didn't evolve, let's see. Brian, where are you going? Come back over here. Okay, let's see how he's doing. Oh, he's still an LS Moth. So he actually didn't evolve from the Gabrath meat that I sent, which, I guess, rip. It doesn't really, uh, doesn't really make for the best video when he actually doesn't evolve. But you know what? I'm gonna try again tomorrow when I get my resets, and we're gonna see if we can actually get this LS Moth to go up to a Score Moth. I don't know what that's gonna do for me, right? Because, I mean, he's kinda useless to be honest, he just doesn't really do much for me. Um, in comparison, the dragons do a lot more for me. Like, I just got a diamond off of uh, Kermi, it was, and uh, uh, Tom, I'm not ready to harvest any items off of, but he drops some pretty good loot, too. And I know the uh, the dragon, the, the worm that is uh, the what these two will evolve into, uh, will evolve from the basic worm that you get, actually drops um, a, a good amount of currency, like uh, Dynamis currency, I believe it is, and I was really excited about that, and when I evolved him into his final form, it was like, oh, you're gonna give me diamonds now instead of Dynamis currency? Well, I guess it's a good thing that I don't need Dynamis currency, because that was pretty lit, getting free Dynamis coins. But, you know, it's Dynamis coins, you can get them just by going into that zone, not a big deal, but diamonds, you don't get diamonds everywhere you go all the time, but, you know, like, this guy will be like, hey, here's a diamond, thanks for uh, letting me play on your beach, and um, here's another diamond. So every day, diamond Diamonds and diamonds upon diamonds. It's gonna be great. Um, I like the loot. It does sell for a decent amount, so I'm excited. It's better than having nothing. And I guess, you know, it's unfortunate that the, the LS Moth didn't evolve, and I guess just stay tuned for my follow-up video tomorrow when I actually try again and see if we can get uh, Brian to evolve. Leave a comment in chat uh, if you want to see this Core Moth evolution. I'm pretty hyped about it. Um, I don't know how long it's going to take. Some of the evolutions I took uh, in the Monster Ring system, they were about one or two weeks worth of just grinding before they finally evolved. It was pretty bad. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching it to the end, and I will see you guys tomorrow.